Hello and welcome to Shrimpy. My name is Jade and today we are learning how to create an automation based on your trading strategy. We have our exchange linked and our portfolio created. We just need to add an automation to our portfolio. To do this, we go to the Automation tab and select Create Automation and pick Assets. Now we can create an automation based on our trading strategy. First, we select the tokens we want to include in our allocations. We choose the top four coins and select Add. Now we can choose how much of our portfolio we want to allocate to each token. Our allocations must total 100%, so in this example, we will set each one to 25%. Now we can choose our rebalancing strategy. Every time our portfolio rebalances, Shrimpy gets us closer to our target allocations. We can choose to rebalance periodically or based on a threshold percentage. With periodic rebalancing, our portfolio will rebalance every hour, week, or month. Say we choose a two-hour rebalancing strategy. Our portfolio will rebalance every two hours. With threshold rebalancing, we set the percentage our assets can move before triggering a rebalance. Say we select a 15% threshold rebalance. This means an asset would need to move 15% before Shrimpy triggers a rebalance. Select Show More Rebalance Settings to display additional options. We can choose to set a stop loss, turn on dollar cost averaging, and fee optimization with maker trades. We will set a negative 15% threshold stop loss with a time frame period of one hour. This means if our portfolio drops 15% in a one hour time frame, the stop loss will trigger and convert our assets to the stable coin selected. The portfolio must drop within the time period to trigger. If it drops in an hour and a half, the stop loss will not trigger. Setting a positive threshold will act as a take profit feature. This works the opposite way. Our portfolio must go up 15% in the time frame selected to trigger. Turning on dollar cost averaging means if we add funds to our portfolio, Shrimpy will redistribute the new funds based on our target allocations. Shrimpy only rebalances the added funds. Turning on fee optimization with maker trades means when our portfolio rebalances, Shrimpy will attempt to use maker trades. A maker trade is a sell order placed above the current best buy order or a buy order placed below the current best sell order. While this may reduce your fee, it may also cause rebalances to take an hour or more to complete. Next, we have the max spread and slippage percentage. This is automatically set at 10%. Spread is the gap between the bid and ask prices of an asset. Slippage is how far the price can slip before Shrimpy stops executing trades. Now we can save the automation and rename the portfolio example. We have successfully created our automation, but we have yet to activate it. To do this, we will select Start Automation and then select the experimental portfolio to run it on. We will choose to rebalance now and select Start. We can see that the rebalance is now queued. Our portfolio is live. If you have any issues creating your automation, please reach out to the support team at support at We are happy to assist you.